It's good to be here to, to speak about such an important issue and uh, our demand to allow the Liberals to have a carbon tax election. And, and why are we asking for this? Mr. Speaker, 70 percent of Canadians and 70 percent of the Premiers are now asking or now saying that they oppose the Liberal NDP carbon tax because of the impact it is having on their everyday lives. And I find it interesting throughout the speeches today that my Liberal and NDP colleagues keep professing that, oh, this isn't impacting the cost of living, this is, has nothing to do with affordability. That's simply not true. And we have the facts from the Parliamentary Budget Officer, and I want to quote him right now. The Parliamentary Budget Officer testified at committee and he said, once you factor in the rebate, but also the economic impacts, the majority of households will see a negative impact as a result of the carbon tax. And Canadians are waking up to this every single day, and certainly my constituents in Foothills, who are paying $2,900 a year in the carbon tax. And the Liberals say, oh, well, they're so much better off. Well, they're getting about $1,800 of their own money back, leaving them $1,000 worse off. And I don't understand why the Liberals and the NDP are fighting so hard to say that this isn't impacting the cost of living. Because they should be celebrating this every single day when they hear about Canadians struggling to feed themselves, heat their homes, pay their mortgage or pay their interest rates. Because this is exactly what they want from the carbon tax. They want the carbon tax to be so expensive that it forces Canadians to change their behaviour. Regardless of the fact that in my riding of 30,000 square kilometres, we don't have public transit. doesn't exist. There are many parts of this country where we don't have alternatives. And that's what makes this so frustrating, why Canadians have just had enough of the Liberal NDP carbon tax coalition.